Yeah, so in this class we'll do 15 and 16. Let us go to B15. Okay, let me read the question for us. One minute. Okay, so here. A vertical pole of height 6 meter cast shadow 4 meter long in the ground. And at the same time, that is important, a tower cast shadow 28 meter long. Find the height of the tower. So suppose this is the ground level. And this is the tower. So this is the tower. So the sun is shining somewhere here. This is the sun, let us say. Then the ray cannot penetrate the tower, so uh, ray will come from the top, brushing through the top and strike the ground. This is called the elevation of the sun produced by the tower. It's now the question is at the same time it means at the same place also. There is another stick shorter, obviously, which is six meter long. This is the pole. So if you were to write here A, B, C, D, E, D is the pole. So it brush like this. Both of them will produce the same angle here because it's at the same time and same place. Okay, so here, <coughs> given, okay, in this figure or in the figure, okay, let us write here, ED, before that, wait. Now the question is also saying this pole is casting a shadow, which is, I think if I'm not wrong, 4 meter long, yes. So the shadow of this pole on the ground is CD, which is 4 meter. The shadow of the tower is this much, BC, which is um, 28 meter long. Question is saying find the height of the tower means AB, you have to find. So in the figure or given, whatever, in the figure, AB is question mark, is the height of tower then this one de not already given six meter height of the pole the question says they are vertical okay so um, that is it then cd is equal to four meter is the length okay we can go like this spaces there de is equal to 4 meter is the length of shadow that of the pole then this one BC is 28 meter is nothing but length of the shadow again which is that of the tar the shadow of the tar okay it's given like this clearly right so we have to find the height of the tower so that's right how do we go about that? So let me just start with this, quite easy. Huh? In triangles, I'll go like this, C, D, E. If you go like that, then in similar triangles, we have to go by corresponding points. So if you go C, D, E, I want to take the big one now. Now we cannot go C, A like that. We have to go C, D, E in same style, C, B, A. These two triangles, big one and small one, angle C inside this one equal to angle C, here because they are common angles now there are four similarity conditions triple a double a triple s and sas which one is going to apply let us see because if we can prove those two triangles are similar we can easily get the height of the tower by corresponding sides okay so here next angle c d e okay c d e then same style angle c b a because we know each of these are, each of them being 90 degree. How semicolon you can put? Because the tower and the pole are placed vertical. The word vertical means perpendicular vertical to the ground question also says is vertical also vertical means like this horizontal means like this so 90 degree so next here these two angles inside this one are equal to these two angles inside this one means by this double a two angles similarity they are similar triangle cd similar to triangle cb a since using 
double A similarity okay similarity condition now we know that if two triangles are similar corresponding angles are equal and then corresponding sides are proportional we want the sides so first two letters you write means first two letters that's called corresponding if I write first two letters CD and first and third that's not corresponding side then second and third B sorry DE the letters second and third letters BA first and third CE here also first and third that is called corresponding side so we are doing this because we know corresponding sides of similar triangles are always proportional to each other proportional means the three ratios are equal proportional means ratios are equal so let us just put the value cd here cd is unknown cd is already there cd oh we made a mistake here see de equal to six meter is the height of the pole but shadow is not the the cd so check correct this one cd okay so cd here is four meter given in the question length of the shadow by BC or CB is same. CB, BC is same. Okay, we write like this. BC, you measure, it will be 28. CB also, same thing, 28. So this will be 28 meter. And then DE, here you can see 6 meter. Divided by BA, the one you want to find out. AB. So you can just write here AB if you want. And you can just discard this third one. We don't need it. So here four sevens are 28 and meter meter cancel so one left here ab ones are ab seven six are 42 and here meter so the height of the tower is 42 meter by similar triangle property we have got the height of the tower one more question 16 okay so let us go and do it B 16 page 147 if AD and PM are median of triangle ABC PQR so there's a triangle ABC then here PQR AD is the median of triangle BC means it divides BC into two equal parts PM is the median means it divides QR into two equal parts like that okay and so let's write the given given is mm, ad and pm are medians medians of triangle triangles abc in short you can write and I put plural so I don't need to write triangle here P Q R respectively. So let's deal with this part. That means this part here, median means A D is median means this B D equal to D C. Okay, we may need some here, so just put this one as one. Then here Q M similarly. Q M equal to M R. Put this one as equation two. Later on, if we need to manipulate, we'll manipulate. Okay, so these two. And then one more thing is given triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR is already given check the textbook so we have to prove with this we have to prove the triangle uh, AB by PQ AB by PQ is equal to AD by PM AD by this is what we have to prove B by PQ equal to AD by PM. So most probably we'll have to prove these two triangles are similar. Right, so for that to happen, mm, okay, so yes, so I think we can do that. So let's just write check proof means the answer for it. We know that triangle ABC is already similar to triangle PQR because it is given in the question itself. As you can see here so if two triangles are similar then the corresponding angles are equal so let's take this angle b second point second letter then here also second letter is called corresponding angles 
and right here corresponding angles of similar triangles are always equal to each other. So let us put this one as equation number three, following these two. Then, once we're through with that, let me slowly see here. I can also write corresponding angles are equal. All the three angles, but we don't need three, so I'm just taking the middle one. Then, second property of similar triangle is the corresponding sides are also proportional. So first two letters, you write A, B, and then first two letters, P, Q. That's called the first ratio, corresponding sides. B, C, second, third, second, third, Q, R. That is called corresponding. Then A, C, first and third letter, as you can see, and first and third letter, P, R. These three ratios are equal because the triangles are similar. So you have since corresponding sides of similar triangles are always proportional to each other. So this one is equation number four, following the tree. So let us write here, uh, BC is equal to twice. Uh, okay, so here, BC is equal to twice. Okay, so we can write, um, like this now, I wanted to manipulate. Now, if it put it like this, that means twice BD equal to twice DC equal to two times this, two times this equal to full BC like this we can write. So twice QM equal to twice MR equal to uh, QR. See here, if this is 10 centimeter now, then this is five because half, half, so five and five 2 times 5, 10, 2 times 5, 2 into 5 is equal to 10 means equal to BC because we are going to need in this format to make it easy for us. Okay, so now let us take these two triangles and write down in triangles ABD. If I go like this, ABD, same style you have to go because in similar triangles, I go P and Q, then it'll be wrong because I'm going like this. And here I'm not going like this, but going, that's not corresponding. So corresponding means P, Q, and let's take these two sides. And these two triangles, this side here, let us say AB by P, Q is equal to this one. We want to do BC by QR because we get this one by using equation number four, as you can see. Now we want to manipulate this AB by PQ equal to, as you can see here, BC is equal to twice, this side we want to take, twice BD, BC equal to twice BD. So I will replace this BC by twice BD. And QR, I want to take in terms of QM, so QR equal to twice QM. Replacing this QR by twice QM, replacing this BC by twice BD. Because we needed the weights, that's why we're doing since using equations one and two. Okay, that way we can cancel out this two and two, so we got this one. A B by P Q equal to B D by Q M, which are the sides of these two triangles. You see here, A B by P Q equal to B D means the side of this A B D by Q M P Q M. So two sides of these triangles are proportional. Now we know the conditions for similarity. Triple A, double A, triple S and SAS. Let us see by which of these four conditions we can prove these two triangles are similar. Okay, to prove this one, I'm getting it. So here, and between these two, which are the sides of this triangle, find the angle, A, B, B, D. Between A, B and B, D, the angle is angle B. Angle between PQ and QM of this triangle, PQ and QM, angle Q. Are they really equal? And the uh, answer is yes, we have already proved in three. So you write here, since using equation number three. Then, therefore, in these two triangles, two sides are proportional, and the angles between the two sides are equal, then we know they are similar by SAS. So we write here, triangle. A, B, D, similar to triangle, 
PQM since using SAS similarity condition of triangles. SAS similarity condition of triangles. So we know that if two triangles are similar, corresponding sides are proportional. So let us write that. Therefore, first two letter AB, first two letter PQ, that's called corresponding side, equal to second and third BD, second and third QM, and first and third AD, and first and third EM. So these three ratios are equal because we know we have proved these two triangles are already similar. So since you know that corresponding sides of similar triangles are always proportional to each other. So now we have got our proof that is, we have to prove AB by PQ is equal to AD by PM. So AB by PQ, AD by PM choose the first and the third ratio equal to AD by PM. Just neglect the second ratio, we don't need hence proof, right? So these three questions, I'm going to give the test. Okay, I hope you got it.